Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to build a $20 rustic barn door. It's simple and easy, and I hope you watch the entire video and leave me a comment down below. So, why do you do any That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Bend down and look at the camera and smile. We're going to use 10 of these pressure treated fence boards. Now they're six foot long Help. and that works out really well because the gate, the door that I need needs to be exactly six feet high. Help. Isn't she cute? Uh -huh. These are a dollar and 68 Help. cents at Home Depot and I need seven of them wide to make the width of the door. And I'm going to use the other three that I bought as braces. This is one of the horizontal braces. So I determine how high I want it off the bottom and use the little square to get it lined up square. And I'm going to use the little cordless Milwaukee hammer drill. And then these exterior screws, they're one and a quarter inches long. And I'm going to put two through the brace board into each of the vertical fence boards. And I'm going to stagger them and put them at an angle just to help to provide a little bit more stability. And plus I like the way the visual pattern looks. And you just go along and you do that to each of the seven vertical boards. You don't want to go down too deep, especially using the hammer drill. You don't want the screw to come out the other side. And so nice and snug is best. But if you just keep that at then the drill will actually bore right through the wood. Then we just come down from the top and we do the same thing. Gonna use a little square and get everything lined up. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, I didn't even measure down. I just chose a spot that looked pleasing to the eye, or just just rainwater. to go across with that, know, that brace board, that's just that what holds it all together. And if you need to, then of course you can measure it and do what you need to do. But this is simple, it took about 10 minutes total to do the whole thing. And being that these are 6 inches, or 6 feet rather long, we, we do have excess on the ends. And, We'll have to cut those off, just, just zip across right there. I just use a, a circular saw. And here's the, the tenth board. to we'll just put it down horizontally just to make that classic Z pattern on the barn door. And just line the tip up up there at the top and then let it hang off on the bottom. And it's going to get cut off too with the circular saw. And again, I'm going to put two screws to each one. It's just quick and simple. Easy as that. And here's the opening that we're trying to enclose. That, that door, that gate's going to go there. 
This is an enclosure around the cockatoo cages and the little silky chickens live there. And we're just gonna use these really cheap strap hinges and we're just gonna screw it into the framework. And here we go. I'm gonna have to put a latch on it. So these are the cockatoo aviaries and the silky chickens live underneath the cages. And here's Oscar. Y'all know Oscar. You love Oscar, don't you? Isn't he cute? You've seen his recent video where he got that baby toy from the thrift store. He loves that thing. He's taken some of the pieces off of it. He's chewed a hole in it. And that's exactly what I expected. Exactly what I wanted. Hey, Oscar. You're such a pretty bird. Now that this enclosure is all done with a proper door on it, we can begin letting Oscar out and some of the other birds out into that big 10 foot by 30 foot flight cage that we have enclosing their cages. So friends, I hope you like this video. Please take a moment to subscribe, give us a big old giant thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications, and please leave us a comment and share with all your friends. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Please, Dad. Hey, Oscar, please, I'm not happy.